Well, hey guys, and welcome to Mass Pathway. Today, we're going to show you the top three tips for celebrating your student success. So my name's Tom. And I'm Em. And in this video, we're going to look at the top three tips that you can use with your students to celebrate their success. Yes, and we're showing you this at the end of the year. I know this is probably fresh on your minds at the moment, but all of these tips can be used throughout the year to celebrate student success as it's happening as well. Absolutely, I guess you can use them probably at the end of each term because the more frequently that you do use them, the greater impact that they will have with your students. For sure, so here's top tip number one. Now, tip number one is all about celebrating student growth. That's right, you can have a birthday party every time yeah. a student in your class hits the milestone of making a year's worth of growth. That's right, so every time a student hits a year's worth of growth, or you can wait for a whole bunch of students to get a year's worth of growth and celebrate it all together. That's it. And the best thing about this tip is there might even be some students in your class who get to celebrate yeah. more than once. All right, let's have a look now at tip number two. two. And tip number two is all about tracking class progress. That's right. So if you check out this handsome devil over uh, here. Thanks, Em. I was actually talking about the growth monster, but okay. that's all right. <laughs> what we have here is a printout onto some graph paper. And every time a student masters a module, they can actually come and shade in one of those squares. And that means if a student masters, say, four or five uh, modules on a test, they're actually able to come and shade in that number of modules. Fantastic. So I guess once they've gone through and shaded the whole monster in, then you could celebrate as a class yeah, too. That's it. Now, if you don't want to use the growth monster that we've got here, if that's not your thing, you can obviously use another graphic or you can use maybe a thermometer, like the traditional kind of thing that you might have seen, where you set some goals for your class to reach, say 150, 200, 300, whatever you like, and then as they reach that amount, then you can celebrate it as a class. That's it. So it's a great way to track the progress that the whole class is making, but you're still able to let individual students contribute as well. All right, let's check out now tip number three. So this tip is all about recognising individual students with some different awards. That's right, and it's really about focusing on their effort rather than their actual ability. Absolutely. So we've come up with a, a range of awards that you might like to use. Of course, there are other things that you might like to add to this list as well. But the first one that we've got is an accuracy award. So you might like to give it a name like the Golden Arrow. Yep. <laughs> so it's a great way to celebrate the student who's maintained a really high accuracy rate over the year, or you might even give it out every time a student gets 100% accuracy on a test. The next one is called the team player. Now the team player is all about the student who actually helps out other students and collaborates really, really well with, with the other people in their class. And you could probably do this after rich learning tasks. Yes, and another one that's great to use with a rich learning task is the Question Meister Award. So this is a way to recognise that student who thinks of really great questions, not necessarily the student who always has the best answers. Because the questions, of course, are going to represent the thinking that's occurring rather than the knowledge that the student already has. The next one is called the articulator. And the articulator is all about the student who can actually go through and explain their working out or their thinking in a nice and clear manner. Now that might be actually through doing the working out, but also being able to articulate verbally as well. Thanks, Tom, that was very articulate of you. Thank you. And the final one that we've got for you is the golden boot, and this is all about kicking goals. So it's recognising the student who has actually met the goals that they've been setting for themselves throughout the year. So there you have it guys, our top three tips for celebrating your student success. You know it, tip number one was all about having a birthday to celebrate student growth. Tip number two was about tracking class progress. And tip number three was all about the individual student success. That's right, and all of these are really focusing on the effort of students rather than just the ability, because we really want to be cultivating that growth mindset. So guys, if you've liked us, make sure you give us a big thumbs up or click on the subscribe button down below. Yeah, and feel free to comment and tell us about the other ways that you've celebrated success in your own classes. Yeah, my name's Tom. And I'm Em. And thank you very much for tuning in. Yes, have a happy holidays and we'll see you in the new year. <laughs> so the tip... <laughs> It, 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 it didn't go either. You're going to get one at All least. Alright, my god.